Welcome and welcome back everyone to this full moon in Aries. Pick a card. Today you have three options. These are all moonstones. So we have pile number one with moonstone, pile number two with selenite, and pile number two with labradorite. Take a deep breath. <sighs> Exhale. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and hit the bell if you'd like to be notified of future uploads here on the channel. Don't forget to share this video with someone you feel may need it. And don't forget to save it if you want to watch it later. Timestamps will be in the description box. If you need more time to choose your pile, you can go ahead and pause the video now. See you at your pile. Welcome pile one. If you chose the moonstone, the number 37 could be relevant to you as well as the number 10 and the number one. So you're definitely completing a cycle now. You're closing one and you are starting a new cycle in your life after this full moon in Aries. So your intuition will be on an all-time high. You will have clarity and insight into certain situations where the shadow was cast. Um, it's time to access your inner wisdom and your inner voice to spend time with yourself. In meditation, it will be a good time for you to uh, do a manifestation ritual as well. If you've been thinking about it, now would be a perfect time. If you can do this um, near a water, a body of water like a lake or the ocean, all the better, okay? Because water really does amplify the energy. Okay, and having a moonstone with you during this time will also be helpful, either in a form of a bracelet or having it next to you or in your purse or in your pocket. We have the number 22 here, blessed. Okay, so you could be seeing the number 22 a lot. It means you are on the right path and you will be feeling very blessed. Even though your emotions may be a little bit stirred up, there is some form of blessing and a celebration coming this full moon in Aries, okay? Uh, two plus two is a four. Four is about structure. So you are heading into a new cycle here where you will be more structured. And because you are deciding to structure your life, you will be attracting in more blessings. Now, she looks like she's in a position of meditation here. So meditation is definitely highly recommended now. Music. It says, listen carefully, for there may be a message in the music that you hear. Yeah, definitely in lyrics or music, that song that pops up on your Spotify or your whatever um, app you use for tunes. Um, music can lift your soul, rekindle memories, and charm fairies to your door. So I'm hearing for this one, manifesting using music. So any song that may have these lyrics that set you that set the tone for what you want the the, the the lyrics themselves can have affirmations that you can use and you can sing them okay um plus you know music can be very uplifting so you may want to look into high frequencies and frequencies for healing and manifestation that will help you as well or any any music that really gets you in a good mood okay Solitude, yeah, definitely it's recommended that you spend some time alone. And we have a full moon there. Uh, and we have a lake here that I did reference there previously. So manifestation using music and water. If you can do both, perfect. I'm seeing a flute here. So some music with flutes as well. Um, maybe uh, um, some of you uh, are rowers or rowing a boat will help you or the song row 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 your boat could mean something to you at this point in time but just something um, about spending time alone meditating listening to music that will help you manifest or uplift your spirit in some way can help you close this cycle in a peaceful way and start your new cycle and manifest in what it is that you want to bring in. Any blessings, whatever you perceive to be a blessing in your life. We have Diana, so some of you could have this name, could be called Diana, or you could know a Diana, or this could be a relevant name to you, or for you in this case. Um, so this is about, um, yeah, exactly. This has to do with focusing your intention on what you want to manifest, because it says focused intention. And it says, keep your unwavering thoughts, feelings, and actions focused on your target and you will make your mark. 
So anything that distracts you from the target of the thing that you want in your manifestation is not only a distraction, but be careful because it could be self-sabotage or it could be sabotaging your manifestation. So beware of those thoughts that are unwanted. Any thoughts that make you sad, worried, fearful, anxious, guilty, um, shameful, whatever it is that keeps you in lower vibration needs to go. Doubt, like doubting your own manifestation is a way to, you know, to have manifest exactly the things you don't want, okay? So be very clear and focused on your intention and your intention alone. This is a very, very clear message because right now is a magical time for you. We have the dragonfly. This could be a symbol to some of you. It could be an animal totem. You could be seeing dragonflies. Um, but this is all about transformation. This is actually, this full moon in Aries will be a magical time for you to transform whatever it is you want to transform in your life. It's a magical time and your manifestation abilities will be working a lot faster. So be very, very careful about what it is that you're thinking. We have illusion. I do see that whatever it has been an illusion, you're, you're going to see the truth behind the illusion. Now, we have the thinking woman. So you could be spending a lot of time thinking uh, or you are advised to think very, very well about what it is that you want. Be very specific and even write it down if you want to write it down to help you focus. Uh, write down your affirmations. Write down what you want to manifest, okay, in a very clear way. And um, I do see you thinking a lot. I see a lot of mental activity going on for you in this full moon. So if you're overthinking, really try to calm your mind by taking deep breaths and meditating. The number 47 and the number 11 could be relevant to you. But we have the 37 to the 47. So you will make a lot of progress here with your ideas. Okay, I'm seeing maybe uh, spend some time reading something. As well, you're going to find some answers in a book or in anything you read here. We have sextile. There will be clarity shed on an opportunity that is coming in for you, okay, um, to collaborate or assist um, someone in some way or to synergize your talents, your skills with someone else. Uh, a door will be opening for you, a very promising opportunity coming in for you, something that will develop over time. There is communication coming in about this opportunity, okay? There is communication coming in about an opportunity that you've been thinking about. This is an opportunity that you've been thinking about, that you've been focused on even. Okay, now we have sexuality and the number four coming up again. So 44, angel number could be relevant to you. The number 44, do the, do the research. We have 22, 40, 44, 22, and then we have four and four. So... Okay, so so some of you are wanting to manifest a glow up because now we have beauty, grace, loveliness, integrity of form and spirit. So this will be a magical time for you guys to manifest a glow up, okay? Whatever you want to work on that makes you more attractive, even sexually attractive, um, you, this is a perfect time for you to work on a beauty glow up or something that you've been wanting to do in that sense. I also feel that you will be super attractive at this time and you will be attracting in a lot of people. Um, you could be having a very rewarding sexual experience here. Someone who finds you very beautiful. We have the number one showing up now. So one is showing up twice and we have 11. So 11, 11. You could be seeing 11, 11, 44 and 22. So 11, 22 and 44. Hmm. Okay, so let's look into some tarot or tarot to see <clears throat> what messages come through, what other messages come through for you. We have the Knight of Swords, so definitely communication coming in. I'm seeing uh, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius energy now. Yeah, that's that mental activity. But this is also taking action and communication. Taking action and communication here. Now, what is this? Uh, Nine of Cups. Okay, wish fulfillment. So if you've been wishing for action or communication, it's coming in. 
whatever action or communication you've been wishing for is coming in, okay? Just so you know it's coming in. Let me just uh, get some more space in here. <clears throat> Ten of Swords. Okay, there's also an ending going on here. Maybe something painful but long overdue. But you've been wishing for this ending, so it, it, it's got to be something good, right? Let's hope. Yeah, yeah, it's something you were holding on to. It was long overdue, as I was saying, uh, and it's coming to an end now. Uh, but it's your wish fulfillment. Um, so maybe this communication coming in will end some cycle where you've been stuck. It's going to bring you clarity and showing you an opportunity that will help you break free from a situation that was stagnant and it was painful for you. So yeah, that's the cycle you're closing. You're closing a cycle of pain and you're stepping into your wish fulfillment, into that communication that you've been waiting for, that action being communicated to you, showing you an opportunity. Eight of Wands. Yeah, this communication is coming in quick and maybe a lot of communication is happening here back and forth. And this could be travel, someone traveling to you, someone you've been thinking about or someone who has been thinking about you. They will either communicate more or travel to you finally. Um, but I'm yeah, especially because Mercury retrograde is over. So this makes sense. This makes sense. Mm -hmm. There will be an opportunity to travel, to move, to make, to take action. Finally, I'm hearing. Um, and I'm seeing with the Eight of Wands there, this could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius who is very attracted to you. And you are their wish fulfillment. And this person is your wish fulfillment. And they are, yeah, they, they can't resist you. And so they are making moves toward you. And they're, they're focused on you. Okay, this person is focused on you for those of you who want to know, okay? But I'm seeing also you with a chariot here. Yeah, someone could be traveling a distance to come and see you. or And for others of you, this is you taking action very swiftly. If things were very stagnant with whatever you were thinking about and wanting to take action on, you're finally going to be able to take action. Things are going to pick up pace. And there you are moving toward your achievements, your success, your goals um, more swiftly and finally making them happen because the chariot is all about wish fulfillment. So guys, this is a general reading. So take what resonates for you, but you are finally getting unstuck. If yeah, you were in a stagnant, painful situation that you couldn't release yourself from, you're going to release yourself now full speed ahead. Ooh, the Empress, the Empress and the Queen of Swords. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy showing up again and uh, Taurus energy as well. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of thinking here, a lot of thinking. Uh, all that thinking kept you stuck, but now it's like this ending is actually a blessing in disguise. Yes, an ending that is a blessing in disguise. It could be even painful, but it's... Yeah, it's been something you've been thinking about, thinking about. Maybe you're cutting someone, something or someone out because I'm seeing all these swords here. The Queen of Swords doesn't take any BS. And because of that, you are um, glowing up and you are then attracting in more abundance and the things that will make you feel like you're in your power. So you are stepping into your power in your next phase after this full moon and you'll be celebrating an ending here is what I'm seeing um, of something that was very um, challenging stressful some obstacles that you're overcoming finally you are finding your way out of that hole for some of you and tower moment this could be coming in uh, unexpectedly um something crumbling unexpectedly but long overdue Scorpio energy now 
Um, and this could have something to do with some form of communication that comes to you unexpectedly, suddenly. Uh, or it could be in the form of an epiphany that you have because it is the full moon and you will be getting downloads. Um, this is setting you definitely on the right path here. We have a seven, we have a three, could be relevant to you. Sixteen, seven again, double seven, angel number 77. Um, definitely research that. Um, so yeah, so this is actually, yeah, that was a interesting message. Let me see if I can, um, if I'm getting other information here. <sighs> yeah, you're transforming. Um, something about your, um, the, your looks, you're able to transform here a as per magic, really, is what I'm seeing here. And yeah, a lot of people noticing you, you becoming super attractive with the Empress Beauty, um, yeah, a lot of people wanting you sexually as well. Yeah, definitely. At least one person definitely coming your way. S Cancer energy, Scorpio energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius possibly. Um, Taurus as well. I'm seeing here someone coming your way because you are so attractive, but you're ending a cycle at the same time. Something you were holding on to, you're cutting out. And this is um, empowering you. This is empowering you. Um, yeah, a lot of swift movement, quick movement toward your abundance. So abundance may mean in love here. It, um, mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm seeing another message here. We have someone pregnant here and we have uh, eight wands here, which look like, uh, you know, um, sperm, sperms going toward the egg here could be. And yeah, and someone could be getting pregnant in this full moon. So if you don't want that, um, be careful. But if you want it, good for you. Um, this is a general reading, so take what resonates. I'm also seeing you definitely moving forward with your projects, with your long-term goals here, with something very de dear, near and dear to your heart. And it's actually, your, it's time, it's go time. You will be able to even either launch this or move forward with this. Um, yeah, and the full moon is showing up there again. So this will be a very significant full moon here where you are something, it's like a bun in the oven or something is cooking so that later it can, you know, there can be a harvest here later on in uh, eight weeks to seven months uh, or the number seven here. Yeah, so something happening uh, at the beginning of next year, okay? You will be able to launch a project, conceive uh, something, um, something about something you want to do here. This is also very like mother energy, something you're nurturing. Um, but yes, with sexuality, the Empress pregnant here, the Eight of Wands, someone here could be getting pregnant, okay? Um, by someone who is traveling to see you all of a sudden and unexpectedly announcing this. And this is something you've been wishing for, but it's also closing some form of cycle for you, okay? So, okay, that was your message pile number one. Let me know how that resonates for you in the comment section. If it did not resonate, choose another pile. Always take what resonates, leave what does not. This is a general reading. Let me know. Um, yeah, let, just let me know if, if it didn't resonate, just choose another pile. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, hit the bell if you'd like to be notified of future uploads here on the channel. Don't forget to share this video with someone you may feel may need it and save it if you want to watch it later. Bless you all. Bye. Welcome pile number two. If you chose the selenite, this is your reading for this full moon in Aries. The number 49 could be relevant to you as well as the number four. So structure, structure is what I'm seeing here, structuring yourself. So a light shed on what it is that you need to get organized in. What, what is it that you need to structure in your life? Selenite is a powerful detoxer. So there's something about focusing on detoxing. Something about structuring yourself in a way that detoxes your life. That could mean decluttering. That could mean a liver cleanse. That could mean uh, eating healthier, drinking more water. Okay. Uh, keeping selenite next to you. It helps detox your body. It helps detox your crystals as well. Um, but this is also a, a message about fluidity and flexibility. 
there mm-hmm. will be illumination and clarity on something in your life that will help you raise your vibration and also detoxing will help you raise your vibration right now so you may want to focus on some form of detox here okay detoxing your home your environment your relationships your your body okay beautiful new life yes you are stepping into a new life here the number 39 and the number three could be relevant to you so get ready for your new life but for this new life to unfold um, in a way that is fluid and flexible you need to let go of some things some toxins in your body some extra things lying around your house toxic relationships situations okay and now we have divination so your divination abilities will be on an all-time high you can trust um readings and information that comes through for you and it says embrace your powers of divination which are especially strong right now yes you have the ability to see your current situation with crystal clear clarity yes the new the the full moon does bring a lot of clarity and you're going to know exactly what you need to do exactly what you need to let go of and exactly the path ahead to your new life what it is that you need to do what are the steps you need to take the practical steps, how how do you need to get organized, Um, you know, what new um, rituals you need to include in your daily life, something about your health, and we have a gateway, so this definitely is a gateway to um, a phase where you are living in your truth, you're being authentic, you're being your unicorn self, you are very different, you could be psychic, And you could have those abilities already very well developed and you could be wanting to use them in this new phase of your life. But this definitely, this full moon in Aries, especially for you, my pile number two, is a powerful gateway for you to be able to be yourself, okay? You will be more, you will be feeling yourself more. We have Una, easy does it. Someone here may be named Una or have a connection to Una. But it's about flowing, fluidity. It's not about forcing anything. It's about stepping into your feminine energy, your yin, where you are attracting things to you. And you're just naturally going through the doors that open for you with ease and grace, okay? There is no need to worry or force things to happen right now because everything you will feel everything occurring in perfect timing and we have selenite again so yes definitely get some selenite if you don't have some but you are currently being spiritually activated and stimulated and by detoxing and having some selenite with you this spiritual activation will be super strong and the stimulation will be that much power that much more powerful We have community here, so something about a community, maybe a new community here. Uh, You need to look at your current state of affairs when it comes to community and the people you relate to, and there may be some cleaning up to do there, some detoxing there. Because there could be some toxic people who you spend time with. Now I'm seeing some music, a harp here, so listen to some harp music. It's going to help ease your soul. But there is also um, a new community of people entering your life here. You could be going to a party on this full moon here. But there's a new community of people who I feel are more aligned with who you are. As you detox certain people, the, the right people, the people who are your soul tribe are going to be flowing toward you. Yes, new friends, okay? The 11th house. New friends, new goals, Um, and freeing yourself to actually move toward the things that are important to you, okay? But I'm seeing uh, a celebration with your community or a new community here, or you're going to be starting something up with a group of people, maybe you're three people, three to 11 people. The number 11 could be relevant to you, but um, something about a common goal here, um... Something very unique that's never been done before is what I'm seeing here as well. We, we, we see, pay attention to the signs here. So 
And this full moon, you're going to be getting signs. So you need to pay attention to them and even write them down so you don't forget them. Because that's part of your spiritual activation here. You're going to be seeing signs. Now, an owl could be a sign for you. You could have Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius in your chart. And you could also have Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio in your chart. Farewell to the moon. Appreciate and enjoy the lunar light and cycles. And she's sitting in water. So water manifestation could be a good idea for you right now. Um, but I'm seeing possibly a celebration under the full moon. The number 17 and the number 8 could be relevant to you. Uh, but just enjoy, just sit back. Don't. There's not much here that they're telling you to do in terms of manifestation or anything like that. It's just about appreciating this time under the under the full moon, is what I'm seeing here. So it's it's a, it's a very chill, relaxed um, energy of just relaxing. Really, is what I'm seeing here. Taking deep breaths. And allowing yourself to move through this new gateway, this new life. You're going to need, you need to rest because you're stepping into a completely new phase in your life here. Everything will be different. I'm seeing in 2022, everything will be different for you. The Tower and the Three of Pentacles. So, yeah, something could be falling away. Um, you could be getting some unexpected uh, information or clarity or a situation, an event or communication here that will shake things up for you. Um, um, something that wasn't a solid foundation could crumble here because of this unexpected news. And it could come from a friend or about a friend or from a community or about a community that will have you... Um, removing certain people from your life here is what I'm seeing here so that you can build a more stable foundation for the future. This tower moment, whatever it is, it's going to be a good one because it's going to set you on the path toward higher goals, a better your life purpose and better friendships, better community here. Building on a solid, stable foundation. Something that was unstable. I'm seeing a lot of you are, are going through your Saturn return and you're coming out of it very soon. The Hierophant. Yeah, you're building something that is more long-lasting and committed and connected to your, your truth, your spiritual truth here. This could be a commitment to a higher level project. I'm seeing Taurus and Scorpio energy here strongly and Aquarius now I'm seeing Cancer Pisces and Scorpio so there could be someone coming in here offering you um, commitment taking things to the next level here and letting you know in front of a community of people uh, maybe a, a marriage proposal that you're celebrating here with your community and, of course, that would bring you a solid and stable foundation and a new life, of course. So that could be the change going on for you guys. Maybe you want to check my uh, latest pick a card that I uploaded today as well called What's the Tea on You? Because there's a message there for you, okay? So someone could be uh, telling you that they want to take things to the next level or they see you as more than a friend or... Uh, you could know this person from your community as well or they could just be taking things to the next level with you and saying that they want to build a more stable foundation that they're taking you seriously we have the devil here so Capricorn energy the number 15 and the number 6 so yeah something toxic is falling away this could be a habit this could be a way of thinking this could be people um this could be toxic behaviors, toxic thinking, patterns. Uh, this could be an addiction. This could be codependency, okay? Anything that was keeping you bound and stuck in um, that was toxic is falling away. Beautiful. Pretty simple. Straightforward. 
because that was very unstable. It wasn't, it wasn't good for you. So, oh, that's too many. So, whatever wasn't good for you. Four of Pentacles, something you held on to for a long time, but now, you know, whatever you're building is something that's more stable. It's just more stable, and there's going to be progress, and you are going to be very protective of it. It's, it's um, something you've been planning as well. Is, is gonna there's gonna be an opportunity to move forward with this um, now I'm seeing distance here between you and someone maybe someone you've been waiting to um, connect with you to commit to you this person could be at a distance and there's finally going to be movement or travel or communication of that's that shows more commitment here. Five of Swords. Okay, so this is something that has been bringing mental conflict to you or this person here. Um, and you're very close to stepping out of this energy. Now, uh, if there was conflict with someone, there will be an apology coming in for you. If there was conflict with someone, okay? there Someone will be recognizing. and But you will be also moving away from people who only bring conflict into your life okay and those and there's one specific person who you could have had um, miscommunication with or who regrets the way they spoke to you or something they said and they will be correcting this there's one person who will be correcting this so that you can have a firmer foundation with this person. This is someone who hasn't been able to let you go. You haven't been able to let this person go. So there's nothing that you really need to do. This person will come to you, okay? And set the record straight. Set, set things straight. If things were bad during Mercury retrograde, this will be corrected, okay? So that was your message pile number two. Let me know how that resonates for you in the comments section. If it did not resonate, absolutely choose another pile. Take what resonates, leave what does not. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe and hit the bell if you'd like to be notified of future uploads on the channel. Don't forget to save this video if you want to watch it later and share it with someone you feel may need it. Bless you all and bye until next time. Welcome, last but not least, pile number three with this Labradorite. This is your reading about your full moon in Aries. The number 29 could be relevant to you as well as the number 2. So I think all of these ended in a, a 9, all of these cards here. So one thing that's going to be happening for you in this full moon in Aries is that you are going to be awakening to the magic within you. Um, there will be synchronicities happening. Um, mysteries being uncovered, things that you needed answers to, and you will also be getting some help from some unexpected sources, people, um, or just information coming up for you just out of the blue here. That's going to be very, very helpful. Unfinished symphony. Okay, so there is some unfinished business here, or there's a literal song that you need to finish or music or a, a symphony or something that you need to finish up. This is the number 10. It's closing a cycle here. So you're going to be able to close a cycle or to get some closure here um, or deal with some unfinished business here. We have nature's signs. So there will be messages and signs coming to you through animals or nature that, um, and, um, it's about opening your heart and your mind to this. There, the, the messages will be subtle, so be very receptive. So the, the moons are female energy, yin energy, um, feminine energy, should I say. So this is about you being in that energy of receptivity rather than trying to go after information. It will come to you, okay? 
and very subtle signs. So pay attention to the signs here and embracing. Embrace whatever you see, whatever comes your way, okay? Because it's part of your path and your process. We have Nematona, sacred space. So create an altar or visit a power place to connect with the divine during this full moon in Aries. Whatever that power place is for you, Sedona, Arizona. This could be um, just anywhere that, or create your own sacred space with crystals and candles and um, some place where you can feel at ease to meditate and just be, to connect with the divine. Because that's the energy you need to be in now, is receiving information, divine downloads of divine knowledge and uh, wisdom and healing also. We have the moonstone again. So yeah, get some moonstone to help you connect to your higher self and to your intuition as well because your intuition will be very heightened and you will be maybe some of you solving a mystery, solving a mystery, okay? Finding something out. We have the thinking man here. So someone could be thinking highly of you and a lot about you and see you as a true treasure and value in their life. Now I'm seeing the clear quartz that he's holding there, so you may want to work with crystals during this full moon, definitely. Um, maybe if you're the masculine energy, maybe you're thinking a lot. The number 46, the number 10, and the number 1 definitely showing up here. Mm, but someone here is thinking about you, maybe, and gaining clarity about you in some way. We have conjunction and empowerment. So... You may want to watch my latest upload here. I uploaded it on the same day. It's called the T. What is the T on you? So check out that that um, pick a card because there's a message there for you. But whatever clarity you get here, um, maybe this unfinished business is with this person who's thinking about you, and you're either going to communicate with this person or telepathy going on here. Um, This person may be uh, informing you that they want to join forces with you. Uh, maybe you were also attracted to pile number one, and these two seem to be connected because the thinking woman showed up in pile number one. So uh, with empowerment and a person up there, and so there could be a power couple dynamic here in the works for you, whatever that means for you, okay? Um, yeah, during this full moon, you may be combining your energy with someone to finish something. But it's not an ending here. It's an ending of a cycle and starting a new one. We have dreams. So you could be getting a lot of information through your dreams downloads. The number three could be relevant to you. Something about a tiger. Some of you could be a tiger in the Chinese astrology. Or the tiger could be an animal totem symbol for you. Something about your dreams. The fairies could mean something to you. You could love nature. I'm seeing a lot of nature lovers here. And we have energy field adjustment, aura cleansing, and health. So you may have been attracted to pile number two as well. So there will be an energy field adjustment going on for you in this full moon in Aries. And that looks very fiery. So some of you could have a moon in Aries. The number six showing up there, but your energy will be changing, will be adjusting, cleansing, and you will feel healthier, more empowered after this energy field adjustment is empowering you. Something about your dreams, some, something that shows up in your dream is going to uncover something that will help you adjust and understand something. Now, let's look at some tarot to see any additional information wanting to come through. Ace of Pentacles. You're definitely getting a new beginning that is more stable, planting a seed of stability, a seed of stability or a seed of sorts. 
a new beginning, stable, long-lasting, prosperous, and abundant. Um, more structured. Very material-based. Okay, grounding your ideas. If you have an idea, you're going to be able to ground this idea, make it happen. Now, this could be in conjunction with someone else. Or someone is considering you for a project and you're finally going to take action together and get this going. Start. Starting energy. Some of you could be starting a new exercise regime that will make you feel more powerful and it will be like increasing and improving your health. We have the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. You could have this. This person could or someone you're dealing with. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But you could also have someone here who has Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius in their chart. I'm seeing the sun and the moon here. So balancing your energy. I'm seeing a lot of balance here. I'm seeing deep emotions and feelings. Five of Wands, struggle and competition, obstacles. Hmm. We'll clarify these. Nine of Wands. So this energy adjustment, it seems like you're going to be... You're going to be resistant. There is some resistance on your behalf, even though this is something you want, your heart wants. It's been a long battle. You've been through a lot and you're doing some deep healing, some deep healing. But I'm also seeing you finally overcoming obstacles, finally overcoming obstacles. Or competition or struggles here. Let's clarify. Ace of Pentacles, clarifying the Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Swords. You're getting a new beginning here. Um, that could come through communication, a divine inspiration, um, an epiphany about your feelings or someone's feelings. Now the Five of Wands showed itself again. So there's someone here that you're mirroring. That one fl flipped inside the deck. See, these are such mirroring energy here. The star, Aquarius energy, wish fulfillment, healing. Okay, so whatever battles you've been through, there's, there's a lot of healing coming through for you. Um, okay, some important information that's going to help you uncover a mystery will help you move past trauma, past pain, past the struggles and the battles and overcome the obstacles. Finally, I'm hearing, finally, this healing is coming. Um, and it could have something to do with something you're, someone you're thinking about, something you're thinking about. But I'm seeing a new beginning between two people here. Someone you have strong emotions toward. And there's, there's either going to be communication or telepathic communication. Something here that's unfinished business that you're going to finally ground with someone here. It could be a business um, opportunity that you've been wishing for or a relationship. Mm. I'm feeling the need to get more clarity for you guys. So let's get another deck going. But I'm seeing you having some form of information, uh, communication, or brilliant idea here that is going to help you overcome the struggles and the obstacles. Now, if you're wanting, if someone or you are needing to overcome obstacles and come toward each other or solve something or heal something between the two of you or get the wish fulfillment that you want and gra ground your connection, make it happen in the 3D if you've been only in the 5D, 7D, or if you're apart somehow, 
you're going to be able to overcome some obstacles here. You're going to be getting signs. There's unfinished business here. And you're going to be able to either meet or start something here. And maybe this is not happening in this full moon, but you will get clarity and you will know this is happening soon. Seven of Swords. Someone is strategizing, thinking a lot. Seeing Gemini energy with that one. Of how to ground this, how to make this happen physically. Because there seems to be a lot going on spiritually. But there's unfinished business here. Someone is strategizing and you're going to get clarity on this. Um, someone having to be very strategic here. It, up in their head and... Death and a rebirth. An ending. Walking away from something strategically. Ending something. Scorpio energy. I don't see an ending between you and someone. I see a new beginning. But there's something ending. Something that is taking some planning and some strategy. Oh, okay. Wow. Empress and pre-empress energy. The Nine of Pentacles and the Empress. So... You could be strategizing a rebirth here. Or you're both doing this, you and someone else in your lives and strategically taking steps away from something into something new, ending something. And you're focused on financial stability and your abundance is coming in, by the way. Your abundance is finally coming in and you're getting clarity about this. With the Empress there. You could have Taurus or Libra in your chart. Virgo as well I'm seeing here. But what I can tell you guys. Is you are stepping into your abundance. You are closing a cycle here. And I'm hearing it's not over yet. And keep doing you. Keep working on your crops. So to speak. Metaphorically. Literally. Whatever that means to you. Because look, you're going to pick that flower. It's going to bloom. You're going to pick those grapes. And you're going to wear a, a crown of flowers. You're just going to be glowing and um, the old you is gone. But there's something that's unfinished here that's going to get a new beginning here for you. And you know what this is. If you want to share this, absolutely do. Just take this time to um, unwind um, spend time in nature, allow your energy field to adjust to the new reality because you are walking away from the struggles right now and you are coming into a time filled with hope and healing and wish fulfillment. The star and the empress, this is magical, absolutely magical time that you're stepping into and your dreams are going to be giving you signs that this is happening so you're going to be getting some prophetic dreams Get some crystals to help the energy go, um, grow and go. But there's a power couple dynamic here, whether that's in business or in, in uh, love, okay? Um, I'm not seeing a whole lot about love here, but take it how it resonates for you, okay? What, whatever this is for you. Um, so some of you are going from a single status to um, being in a relationship, something like that. No longer having to strategize is what I'm seeing here. You're just in your power. And if you've been working hard, you, you are definitely headed to long-term financial stability, to say the least. And you're going to heal most of your problems here. You're, you're healing most of your problems here. You're stepping into your power for sure. Pile number three, this was your reading. Let me know how that resonates for you in the comment section. If it did not resonate, choose another pile. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and hit the bell if you'd like to be notified of future uploads on the channel. Share the video if you feel someone would need this message, and save the video if you want to watch it later. Bless you all and see you later. Bye.